I'm Russell Porter from Nats and I'm here in Geneva at Airspace World. Airspace World brings together some of the leading players from the world of air traffic management and I'm here to speak with some of them. We hope you'll enjoy the show. How are you finding the show so far? The show has been excellent. It's a great opportunity to, um, to talk about the future of, uh, of air navigation services. Everybody here is excited. You can hear the buzz maybe in the background. We have um, the biggest attendance uh, that we've had in many a year. What are some of the key challenges do you think that face the industry more broadly at the moment? Getting the industry to think in terms of the future and operating in a way that's different than the way they operate today that's one of the biggest challenges that we've had over the last few years. As we're seeing the traffic increasing again to 2019 levels and you know expectations of going beyond those, it's important for us to be able to maximize the use of our airspaces. How do we get smarter by using the data that we have, combining it with other data sets and trying to draw out useful insights? What messages might you have for women who are aspiring to a career in aviation? It can be very intimidating to find your place, but with all of the exciting innovation that's happening right now, now is our time to jump in and be a part of this industry, be a part of this innovation. What work are we doing to integrate new airspace users? A lot of the work that we've been doing is around groundwork. What other conditions required? What is the technology required? How we do those things, try them out, see how they work and then improve them. With ADSB, when we talk about the oceanic traffic and the larger limits that we used to have to use for separation standards over the ocean, it has greatly reduced. Do we have any figures from intelligent approach implementations that tell us about fuel savings for the airlines? There are figures from Heathrow that have been quoted in the region of 45,000 tonnes of CO2 savings per annum. The aviation industry is a data-rich environment. The tools that we're building are, I think, are going to enable a more collaborative way to analyze that data and, more importantly, turn it into applications that will support all of our customers and actually all of the aviation you know, stakeholder chain.